there's two ways that you can set up beginning balances. One is in the event that you have a new contact in the system that has no balance currently, meaning they're usually a brand new contact, you just added them into the system, and you haven't invoiced them for any other reason just yet. It's a true beginning balance. In order to do that, navigate to Setup up at the top of the screen, go down here to Invoicing, and choose Beginning Balances. So from this window, what you're able to do is choose the name of the contact, the date, if you want your aging to be a specific uh, uh, date or range, and the amount of the balance. Now what I would recommend is that while you're doing this, go ahead and enter in as many as you can. The reason being is once you're finished with this, and you add a description and say, okay, it's actually gonna create invoices for the totals and the amounts that you've created. However, returning to this screen later on, after the client has been invoiced, their name will no longer appear on these lists. And the reason for that is technically they have a balance. And that's going to bring me to the second part. If for some reason you've already created an invoice for a client, but you need to create an additional invoice, go ahead and navigate directly to the Billing tab, under the Invoices section, and hit the plus button. This will allow you to create an invoice without any time cards, with whatever date you choose and for the amount in the description that you want. Again, the first method, the beginning balance screen, is when a new contact has no balance or invoices currently in the system. However, if you need to create some AR or another balance for a client that does have an invoice, you can simply come to the billing screen, create an invoice, and enter in those details.